Hey, what's up guys? Drew here over at Rough Hiker Outdoors. And uh, I know I've been promising uh, a video for my the testing of my hammock for a long time. And uh, it's been a few weeks now, I haven't been able to get out. And tonight, I got, I got, a, I got away from the house for a little bit. And uh, it's, it's pretty much pitch black, but I'm gonna set up my hammock and I'm gonna show you the, uh, the do-it-yourself um, pod system or under quilt. And uh, I'm gonna hike in here a little bit. And uh, I, mean, I don't know if you could know, if you could see, but it is pretty much just, uh, just virgin snow through here. So I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera, because like I said, it's dark. But I'm snowshoeing in. And uh, you can see, got my snowshoes on. And uh, we're just gonna walk in here. I'm gonna find a good place. And uh, I'm gonna set up my, set up the hammock, set up my tarp, and uh, we will get going. Stay tuned. Okay guys, back again. And uh, I, huh. I'm not sure what to name this video. I might want to name it, uh, don't forget your gear when you leave home because I'll show you guys in a second, but I, I forgot a critical piece of gear. And basically what I did is, I'm not like on a hardcore backpacking trip. I came up to visit um, my mom who is in the uh, southern part of the Adirondacks. And so I just grabbed a few essentials because I was she's got some property. I was just gonna hike into that and, and show it. So. Uh, what I neglected to bring was my ridge line for my tarp. So I guess I'm just gonna go tarpless tonight. I'm just going to uh, throw this, I, I, you know, I put up the hammock and I'm just gonna go, uh, there's no snow forecast for tonight. So I'm just gonna go straight up uh, tarp, so, or tarpless. So let me show you guys uh, what we got here. Okay, so you can see there's a tree, just grabbed a stick for my suspension. I still have to lock the suspension off. Um, there's the hammock, there's a sleeping bag. And uh, what I did is I've got my pack stuffed in here to kind of keep everything together. And uh, you can see by the reflection there, um, I'm using, well they sell it in a hardware store as reflective, Reflectix, but I bought a, uh, I bought a wind, or uh, excuse me, a sunscreen for a uh, a car, which I know is a common thing. I finally broke down and did it, so that's going to be my pad for tonight. I've got my pack tucked down in there, and uh, you know, there we are. So there's the one tree, there's the other tree, and uh, what I'm going to do is I uh, got a few other things to just get ready. Um, I've already eaten for the night, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll do a little bit of cooking in the morning and I might check in with you guys as if I wake up through the night and I'm freezing. Um, so anyway, uh, here's the setup. Hope you guys enjoy it. I, please excuse the camera work. Uh, I was expecting to get here several hours earlier and have some daylight, but uh, there we are. So stick around guys and see the conclusion to see if my DIY under quilt survive the night uh forecast temperature is right around zero tonight with uh some winds so we'll see i've got my sol escape bivy in there just in case things get too cold i can slip that on underneath inside so uh hopefully fingers crossed we don't get any s real snow tonight uh, so i won't be uh totally soaked and buried in the morning but uh, stay tuned guys, I'll check back in in a little while. Hey guys, so uh, I'm here in the sleeping bag and um, the one downfall to my camera is that it doesn't have light on it. So I'm trying to hold my headlamp on top of the light. Um, so anyway, uh, I got in this thing and it's actually, it's pretty comfy. I don't know if you could see, it's hard to see but I've got the, the Reflectix there and uh, I don't have the bag quite zipped up all the way but I left my shell on and uh, my two layers underneath and uh, there's kind of the, the view oh, it's gonna show up 
anyway, um, I will check in, you know, if I wake up in the night, I'll think about checking in, but uh, so far, nice and comfortable. I don't feel any drafts, and uh, regardless of the fact that I don't have a tarp, I still think this is going to be a good night. i got the moon over here coming through the trees. looks gorgeous. I'm set up kind of right on the side of some deer trails, so might even see some deer in the morning if I'm quiet enough. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, I will check back in and give you a full report in the morning. Hey, guys, uh, it is about... Um uh, 20 after 5, and uh, I'm pretty much up. I normally get up pretty early, uh, regardless, and then when I'm on the trail, I'm usually up a little bit earlier. So uh, I'm going to get up and get going, and um, uh, I'm going to get some breakfast going, and then uh, I'm going to wait till it's a little bit lighter outside so we can do a little bit better filming. Sorry about the quality on this, guys. I know it's been pretty much all in the dark, um, but... Uh, it got really, really cold tonight. Um, I think it was forecast to be just uh, a couple degrees. I'll, ha I'll have to check and see what it got down to um, in actuality, but it, it feels colder than just a few degrees. Um, but I stayed really warm. I actually uh, had to take a, a layer off because it was so warm in here, and uh, my feet... Uh, stayed warm as well, which I was not expecting. I did have to take a pair of uh, fleece, extra fleece pants that I bought just in case I was freezing and kind of tuck them up at the end where that hole is for the feet and that kept me warm. But uh, anyway, I'm going to wait till the filming is a little better and then I'll give you guys uh, just final thoughts and um, show you the rig uh, with a little better light. So uh, stick around. Okay guys, so I uh, just gave you a little shot of the uh, my little campsite, if that's what you want to call it. And you can see, uh, as I said, I feel like such a goof for forgetting my uh, ridge line. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, had it been something that was, you know, like I really needed it, I'm sure I would have uh, basically, I could have uh, figured out different anchors for the corners still, because I still had those uh, lines attached to the tarp and I... I guess the uh, ridge line fell out of there. So anyway, uh, if it had been a dire circumstance, I sure could have rigged something up. Um, but in all reality, it wasn't, it wasn't the end of the world that I had forgotten it. So anyway, um, I wanted to give you kind of my final impressions on this and basically let you know that um, as far as I'm concerned, this was uh, an overwhelming success. I was very happy with it. Um, I mentioned earlier one of the only issues was that up in the end, uh, in the, the foot box, um, I did take a pair of, uh, I brought extra clothes in my pack just in case I was freezing. And uh, so what I ended up having to do was uh, take a pair of fleece pants and just kind of pack them up in there because I did feel a bit of a draft coming in on my feet and I just didn't want to didn't want to deal with that. So I just kind of shimmied something down there. And, kicked it up into that that little gap and it was fine um, the other thing was even even when I cinched um, this down really tight I had a bit of a hard time getting a seal uh, or, you know blocking the wind around my face and because I didn't have my tarp up uh, the wind was coming from my back here from this side and uh, I was just coming coming right across my face and uh, so I, I did get a little bit cold on my cheeks and stuff like that um, but, but other than that, I mean, had I had my tarp, um, that would have been probably eliminated and so probably would have been the draft at the end of my feet. So, um, I, I think this was, was a big success. Um, what I'll probably end up doing in the future is getting a different sleeping bag and doing the same modification, but I'll probably sew it and do a, a slightly nicer job but I mean for now this thing works great uh, my only complaint is that this sleeping bag is old and incredibly bulky and heavy it doesn't pack down that well and it weighs uh, probably about a little over five pounds 
So for ultralight, that's not that great. But even with this, I, I packed up all my ultralight gear. And with this, I was still at uh, 16 pounds or 16 and a half pounds. So if I got a bag that weighed only, you know, say two and a half pounds or something like that, which can be had for under 100 bucks and still be rated for about 20 degrees, um, you know, I would have been in much better shape and I would have had more room in my pack as well. Um, but anyway, really impressed with it. So basically for you guys that were looking, oh, before I, before I end this, I just want to do a quick review on um, what I use for a sleeping pad. Normally in the winter, uh, without an underquilt, I would bring two, I'd bring uh, a closed cell foam pad and then my Thermarest self-inflating and, I, you know, I'd have to layer up quite a bit. Uh, with this system, however, I tried a piece of basically Reflectix. Um, and I didn't get the Reflectix from like Home Depot or, or Lowe's. <coughs> That's just um, the, the windshield reflector. And I got this, the jumbo size, cost me $10, just over 10 bucks. Worked like a charm, just about full length, so it didn't cover the back of my head, but that, didn't, that doesn't really matter anyway. Uh, but it went all the way from my feet kind of to, to my neck did an awesome job nice and wide too so when you put it in the hammock it spreads the whole thing out and then as you lay in it it kind of comes around and when you roll to the side or when your arms touch the side of the hammock it's still there insulating so really like it it's going to be my new uh, summer pad as well pretty impressed with it like it better than the regular closed cell foam because you can slide around on it and you don't like kind of grip and get stuck so I think this pad was a big part of this thing being a success for what that's worth. So anyway, guys, I uh, appreciate you watching. Sorry it took me a little while to get this video out, but uh, hey, I got it out, didn't I? So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up, like, subscribe, share this video, help support the channel. I appreciate all you guys who, who do all those things on a regular basis. So thank you very much. Uh, God bless. Have a great day, and uh, hopefully next time you guys go out, this uh, system like this could keep you warm. Have a good one, guys.